Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I want to show you something really quick that is how to use the new feature of the error style on the input fields. Okay, so if you're interested as usual, subscribe to the channel, activate the bell, put a like a comment and that's it. Let's get started. And here we are inside the actual time. So uh, what you can see here on the screen, it's actually one of uh, my assets that uh, if you want, you can download it from my website. This is a custom login page that is actually, um, as you can see, it's a full responsive and you can really quickly uh, change whatever you want, colors and, uh, and styles and actually can also, of course, change image, uh, whatever. So you can use it for your um, projects, right? But let's go into uh, the prototype. So what I want to show you here is using the new dynamic panels in Axure is to see all the different states side by side. It is, I think, that one of the most beautiful uh, things that they did. So as said, I want to actually to create a new error style for the input fields, right? This is the new feature of Axure 10. And I can add this style, right? And as you can see here now in the style properties, we have error style. And we can style it either from here or you can create actually in the project we just style manager, you can create a dedicated um, style that you can call it back and you and if you change it here as you know it will change everywhere right if you apply it on other fields it's always better to use it in, in this way so I already created it uh, it's called input error as you can see and I am going to check which style and I'm going to select exactly what the input error right that's okay now we have to put the conditions, right? So the condition is if this input field doesn't contains the at symbol, then show the error style. If it contains the at symbol, then that's okay. That's okay, leave it like that, right? So the condition is into the interaction pane. In the interaction pane, I'm going to uh, select a new interaction and I'm going to do it on lost focus, right? On last focus and under the widget action now you can see we have set error state it is exactly what we need set error state of this widget to true actually to set error stage it means to true okay that's okay what's the what is the condition now the condition is if the text on widget this doesn't contain the text at mm -hmm, Okay, then show the error. Otherwise, so I copy paste this, I select only if, if this contains the at, then set it to remove the error state. So set it to false, basically, right? So these are the two conditions. And we can take a look at it on, uh, on preview. So now I can put Carlo here, for example, as a full name. And I, I, I start to type. And when I uh, actually focus out, you see, because we don't have the at symbol inside, it turns to error state, right? And if I go back and uh, I add net inside, whatever, you see, now it's back to the normal state works perfectly. But I want to add something more that is actually uh, a small error message uh, below. And what I can do is just to copy this, for example, I will put it here, uh, just under it. And I style it a bit, like for example, so the color will be uh, of the text will be red and uh, I will take eight pixel top, eight pixel bottom, and that's it. And of course, should be hidden. I change the uh, content saying your email is incorrect. And now on the same input field, I go back on lost focus. On the first case, I say show hide 
and show uh, your email is incorrect, right? I show it and I want to push it a bit, push widget below, that's okay. And I copy this, I paste it on the other one and I say hide it. And again, should be pull widget, right? Okay, so now let's see how it looks like and how it works. Individual, so now let's go directly on the email, uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you see, so we have also the error message that appears, but if I go back and I put an ads inside, it disappear. And also this video is finished. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new from me. So as usual, subscribe to the channel, activate the bell, put a like a comment and see you in the next video. Bye.